G'day, welcome back to Buildsum. As you remember in the last video we had a look at um, the process of um, building our strip footing, blob footing, the wharf wall, engaged pier, isolated pier, damp proof course, ant capping, and then we put in our bearer, our joists and our sheet floor. So now I want to continue with our building. So once we're up to this stage, we have the sheet flooring laid, we can then start with our wall frame. So obviously we're going to put up our wall frame. And again, bottom plate, sills, noggins, common stud, which runs from top plate to bottom plate, our jam stud, which is right beside our window, running from underneath the lintel down to the bottom plate. We have our window stud which is um, similar to a common stud, it just happens to sit right next to our window. Our top plate and our lintel which carries the load over the window and then we then have our ribbon plate and our trusses. That's basically our frame done next step would be to get the fascia and gutter guy in or put your fascia and gutter on whether it's a timber fascia as depicted here or metal you can then put on or get the roof tiler in he'll put in the first couple of rows of battens they should put in what's called an anti-ponding board so basically this is just a strip of fibro that prevents the size isolation from sagging and from water ponding in this section it makes the water run into the gutter. The sarking goes on and they, they can then batten the rest of the roof and put on the roof tiles. So now we actually have the job covered up. Um, people can start doing roughing on the inside your plumbers and electricians in to start doing their roughing and in the meantime the bricklayers are going to start working back on the uh, on the outside of the house getting the uh, getting the place to a point where we can lock it up so in the next video we'll have a look at how we go about um, building our brick veneer and finishing off the house